everyone, welcome to In the Beyond, and welcome to another Pick a Card reading. Today we're going to be looking into an urgent message from the ancestors. So what do the ancestors urgently need you guys to know? Today we have three piles to choose from. We have pile number one with this clear quartz cluster. We have pile number two with the Amazonite and Smoky Quartz. And we have pile number three with the double terminated clear quartz. So take all the time you need to see which crystal or which card is really calling out to you. Really trust your intuition to see where you're being called, and that is going to be the pile that has the message for you. Pause the video if you need to take more time to meditate further. And yeah, let's get into this reading. Let's see what's in the cards, and let's go in the beyond. Hey, group one. If you were drawn to this um, clear quartz cluster, as well as the Chichen Itza card. This is going to be your reading. Let's see what the ancestors urgently want you to know. So you also had the horse card come out. It says free spirit, give, your, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. And there's just a lot of beautiful imagery happening in this card. Um, the ancestors really would like you to connect to your own creative fire, I'm hearing. Your passion. Your inspiration. Your will and drive and focus. Really connect to that fire that's inside of you. Your ancestors are saying that something important has been happening in your dream space. They've been trying to connect to you through dreams, um, so definitely watch your dreams closely and pay attention to your dreams and the symbols that emerge through your dreams at this time. Animals can come through our dreams with certain messages, um, so pay attention to like the plants and animals you see in your dreams or the people and spirits that you're connecting to through your dream time as well. That's an important message that the ancestors have for you. I'm really being drawn to these like browns and like the brown earth energy coming from these two cards. Um, there's a me message about being rooted and grounded as well that your ancestors would like to communicate with you. We have this figure is really sitting on the ground and representing like strength for me and then we have this horse with the strong powerful legs. I feel like there's a message about connecting to the earth and connecting to grounding as well. But let's pull some more tarot cards to get more information. What do the ancestors urgently need you to know group one? Urgent messages from the ancestors. Group 1, urgent messages from the ancestors. Yeah, I'm just hearing, like, pay attention to your dreams. I think the ancestors or your spirit guides are, like, coming to you guys in your dream time. Um, there seems to be something important wanting to be said through your dreams and like what you're dreaming about. So we have the six of stones here and we have the seven of wands. We have the two of stones. Ooh, we have the high priestess as well as the 10 of thunder. Okay, this is great. Um, With the high priestess, I'm being drawn there straight away. Um. This is just con like confirming that there's messages in your dreams and messages for you during the nighttime. 
you might consider yourself more of a night owl. You might be getting some spiritual insights and messages at night when the world is quiet and there is darkness. And there might be important insights for you during the night and during your dreams as well, seeing in the dark. Definitely, I see you very connected to your third eye and being able to visualize and imagine with your third eye and your inner sight. I think the ancestors want you to connect to your third eye and your imagination more deeply and really start to connect to your dreams. Um, if you don't already, I think keeping a dream journal would be extremely helpful for you guys right now. It's really important to recognize and understand the different types of dreams that we have. So we all, um, we all experience different levels of dreaming and different types of dreams. Um, we have mundane dreams where you might be doing things similar to your daily life. We have psychological dreams where you might be working through some psychological pain or emotional pain or like working through past traumas or things like that or certain relationships and then we have deeper under um deeper and more spiritual dreams where maybe we are communicating with different spirits, maybe we're getting insights from our soul or our spirit guides, connecting with ancestors, or perhaps even connecting to like the spirit of the earth, the spirit of certain animals and certain plants, um, those types of dreams. And then through our dream time, we can also connect to the experiences of the collective unconscious and all of humanity as well. And there's even more levels of dreaming, um, we, we could go deeper and deeper and talk about them all, but I just think for this reading, it's just a reminder and just very important for you guys to track your dreams, to know what's going on in your dream space. Um, I think there's a lot of information there for you about your calling, about what you should be doing at this time. And messages from spirit and the ancestors to guide you through your dreams at this time. Again, we have Seven of Wands, and this card represents a strong, empowered, creative force. Somebody who's really expressing their creativity, wielding their power, and their, they have like influence, and they're able to spread their ideas and their passion and their inspiration out into the world. I think the ancestors want you to connect to your creativity and maybe even start your own financially abundant endeavor through your creativity because we have the six of stones and we have the two of stones and this is about balance and giving and receiving. So you might have a strong creative talent or craft that you might just be putting out into the world like freely and you might not be receiving um, financial abundance back. And the ancestors are just wanting you to realize like your power and your strength and your creativity. And your creativity could yield a lot of financial abundance and you could be putting out your projects or your craft out into the world and you could be receiving back the same amount of energy that you put into it. So yeah, let's pull a few more tarot cards to get any more information. Urgent messages from the ancestors group. Group one, urgent messages from the ancestors. I think the ancestors work very closely with this group and they're very supportive and they have a lot of unconditional love for you guys. We have Six of Swords. We 
have the devil coming out. We have the eight of cups coming out. The queen of swords. And nine of cups. Okay, so this is a very clear message from the ancestors. I think in some regards, there's been something holding you back. Maybe something has been holding you back from expressing who you really are or expressing your creativity. And the ancestors want you to put that in the past and step onto a new path. Step onto a path where you are rewarded for the work that you put out, put out into the world. And where you feel a lot of emotional connection and support through the work that you do. They really want you to transform your current situation. They really want you to step into a new way of being and seeing yourself and seeing your abilities. If you do start to put yourself out there in a way where you allow yourself to receive abundance back, I see you being very successful, very happy, very fulfilled, very at ease and living a life of clarity and living a life of deeper purpose and having like a deeper connection and feeling more connected to your soul mission and soul purpose here at this time. So yeah, really strong message about connecting to your dreams. You might be somebody who astral travels um, during your sleep. You might be traveling to different worlds and different time periods or dimensions and connecting to ancestors or connecting to wisdom in certain ways that is fruitful for you to bring back here. Perhaps channel it into a creative talent or ability in whatever way that resonates with you. Put those things out into the world and allow yourself to receive fulfillment back from the energy that you have been putting out into the world. So whether that's financial abundance or emotional abundance, the ancestors really want that for you. So yeah, that's what I'm seeing for group one. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. If you did like this reading, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments down below if this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments. Um, yeah, thank you guys just so much for being here today and I really hope to see you in one of my next readings. Hey group two, if you guys were drawn to the Amazonite crystal with smoky quartz as well as this Tennessee diviner card, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what the ancestors urgently want you guys to know. What are the urgent messages from the ancestors? So we had the Tennessee Diviner as well as the Elephant card with grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. We also have the Eagle card with ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. Wow. So right away, I'm kind of picking up the energies of emotional healing. I think the ancestors want to speak about an experience that you've lived through that they might have also lived through as well regarding emotional pain or emotional loss or just conflicts and relationships. Um, I think they want you to hold space for yourself and really keep your heart safe at this time. Yeah, because they're really speaking about um, healing something healing your heart, like healing any pain that you have, and healing your heart space. And if you feel called to focus on grounding right now, that might be something that could be really helpful for you if you focus on grounding your energy and emotions into the earth. Um, it might bring you 
into a place of feeling more stability and feeling more calm energy that could be very helpful for you at this time let's pull some tarot cards to get more information um urgent messages for group two urgent messages from the ancestors of group two Urgent messages from the ancestors of group two. We have the lover's card. Harvest of cups. Seed of cups. The Three of Thunder, the Seven of Thunder, and Judgment. Okay, so yes, your ancestors are speaking about an emotional, some kind of emotional pain that you've been um, witnessing or going through, and they want to speak on it. Um, we have the Lover's card, we have Two Cups cards, and we have Three of Thunder. I think somebody possibly with Seven of Thunder possibly was um, potentially untruthful or disloyal. They were maybe somehow dishonest with you and that potentially broke your trust in that person and that has led you to feel heartbroken at this time potentially. I'm seeing with the lover's card that this looks like a romantic partner it could also just be a close friend or even a family member that you really trusted and really um, valued their opinion and valued the valued their relationship in your life. Um, and I think somehow they were dishonest and possibly maybe there was some betrayal or something that really upset you deeply and really entered your heart space. If this wasn't a current situation, it possibly happened in the past. Potentially, I am picking up the energy of like, potentially we're talking about a family member, potentially a parent, somebody who you deeply trusted, who maybe they were supposed to be a caregiver, but they let you down in some way and You've always kind of felt that that underlying heartbreak and the ancestors are coming through strongly today to speak about that and um remind you of how much strength you have and how big of a heart you have and how it's important to keep holding space for your own healing and compassion and be compassionate towards yourself and others as well they want to speak about an opportunity coming for emotional healing from whatever this heartbreak is or loss. We have Harvest of Cups and Seed of Cups. So this is the King and the Page of Cups. And this lets me know that the opportunity for a healing journey is presenting itself to you at this time. And your ancestors want you to really know that and want you to be aware of that and I do just want to say in the future remember to always use your discernment when embarking on new relationships and meeting new people and allowing yourself to really use your discernment when you are bringing new people into your life whether they are friends or even like a job whenever you are bringing new people into your life Use your discernment, trust your intuition, and trust your vibes that you're picking up from people because it's really important to always trust your instincts and to be around people that you feel safe and comfortable around. Let's pull a few more tarot cards to get any more information from the ancestors. What do the ancestors urgently want to say to group two? Yeah, the ancestors really want you to focus on your emotional healing and they they really want you to feel like 
you are able to heal and you are healed in the future. We have temperance at the bottom of the deck. The ancestors really want you to find inner peace and stillness and happiness and harmony. I think you've been let down by a lot of people and it is causing you a lot of pain and the ancestors just want you to <laughs> to feel at peace and at ease. And the first card I, I pulled was the justice card and this is all about resolving conflicts and things um balancing out things becoming fair again things becoming easy and you being able to be who you are and you deserve good healthy relationships i'm seeing this as like an unbalanced relationship that you've had in the past whether like i said friend, romantic partner, family member, somebody that you trusted definitely was dishonest with you and it's time to put that in the past, come back into balance within yourself and almost like even out the scales, let that injustice be in the past and let yourself have healthy, fulfilling relationships in the future to balance out the ones in the past. So we also have Queen of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the Devil, and Knight of Swords. Yeah, so I see a lot of emotional upheaval in your past, a lot of relationships that were unbalanced, a lot of anger and like rage from maybe how you were treated in the past by people. I see you really needing to acknowledge all of those feelings and work on the emotional healing of them. Because I see your ancestors want you to know that you will enter into this time of joyful, happy relationships with Ten of Pentacles and Queen of Wands. You will finally feel radiant and free and like you are emotionally healed and you will finally feel like you have the relationships, the happy relationships that you want to have with family, with friends, with romantic partners. You will finally feel like you belong and people are respecting you and you're being treated the way that you want to be treated. So the ancestors want you to really focus on your emotional healing right now focus on expressing any emotions that you need to letting yourself freely express your anger and your pain working through these emotions so you can come into this beautiful time of happiness and joy and bliss and happy relationships so that's really what i'm seeing from group number two thank you guys so much for joining me today Please like and subscribe if this reading did resonate with you. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if it did resonate. I always just love to read the comments and I always love doing these readings. I just really, really enjoy it. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. And I sincerely hope to see you in one of my next readings. Hey group three, if you guys were drawn to the double terminated clear quartz, as well as the matcha lila card, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what the ancestors urgently want you guys to know. So we have the Matcha Lila card and we also have the Polar Bear card with Nurture. Allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. So with these two cards coming out first, I, I feel like the ancestors really want you to focus on your self-care and nurturing yourself. I think they want you to find inner peace and stillness. I think they want you to focus on seeing yourself and the world in new ways and they want you to be open to receive new positive opportunities because I'm just really drawn to the dark blues in these cards and I'm getting a deep feeling of inner peace and stillness. 
I think the ancestors would also really like you to receive blessings that you are meant to receive as well as um yeah allowing new opportunities to come into your life and letting new doors open to greater abundance and happiness as well but yeah let's pull a few tarot cards to get more information from the ancestors what do the ancestors of group three urgently need them to know messages from the ancestors of group three we have the two of thunder the chariot the four of stones seven of wands and flower of thunder yeah so i'm getting a very clear message about taking care of yourself focusing on your self-care really protecting yourself and nurturing yourself right now connect to the energy of the bear focus on deep introspection deep inner stillness focus on tending to your needs really going deep within yourself to focus on any healing or any rest and stillness that you might need at this time i'm being called deeply to this deep beautiful blue and a real focus on rest and rejuvenation for this group and connecting to the energy of the bear and hibernation and deep inner stillness and introspection and just having a time for rest because I think you need to replenish your energy. You might have been feeling burnt out recently and the ancestors really want you to feel rejuvenated, refreshed so that you can step back out into the world, receive blessings, receive abundance, receive insights and inspirations go after your dreams and your manifestations really focus on the things you want to create in your life but you need the energy to do that you need the energy to put your manifestations out into the world and really nurture them so the ancestors really want you to focus on your own self-care right now put energy back into yourself so that you will be more abundant in the future, you will be open to new opportunities and new blessings and things like that. But yeah, let's just pull a few more tarot cards to get deeper messages from the ancestors. Deeper messages from the ancestors. Deeper messages from the ancestors. What do we urgently need to know for group three? Messages for group three from the ancestors. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, we have the hermit card. And this is just like exactly the energy that I was picking up. With all of these deep blues, it's time to have a bit of a focus on your inner reflection and your introspect introspection. Go deep within yourself so you can uncover new insights about who you are and where you want to go and what you want to do next. It's time to replenish your energy. Really um, connect to the energy of winter because we got the polar bear. So connect to that inner stillness and rest period. During winter, you know, nature is resting. The trees aren't focused on growing their leaves. They're focused on putting stronger roots into the ground and surviving the winter. And they're also focused on their own rest and nurturing themselves. So it's time for you to go deep within yourself have time for rest and reflection focus on your roots focus on you know what really sustains you and holds you up what are the things that you really value where do you want to go next so that when you have your springtime when you are rejuvenated when you are refreshed you're going to have this rebirth this spring energy 
and you're gonna know exactly where you want to go because you took the time to have a bit of a, a hibernation to have a bit of a rest period and you're going to be feeling very clear on where you want to go next and where you want to put your drive and intentions so let's see what the other cards are we have the two of swords the Ten of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah, this is very, very similar energy. Um, the ancestors are kind of talking about having boundaries and putting your burdens down, having that restful time, definitely focusing on moments of clarity and inner stillness and inner peace, having that mental chatter be silenced. Focusing on meditation, focusing on clearing your mind of thoughts, clearing your mind of the chatter, um, to really, really focus on that deep, calm energy of your soul and um, really focusing on introspection and having this hermit time. And there's just a lot of blessings coming to you with Wheel of Fortune. And they want you to be ready for those blessings. They want you to be ready to receive these blessings. So having this rest period is really important for you. And that's why your ancestors urgently want you to hear this message. Having this rest time is very important so you can really enjoy the rebirth that you are about to experience in the near future. You're about to experience um, a total rebirth and a total... new seasonal cycle like a um connecting to the energy of spring connect like completing a full cycle of the year and connecting to spring again there's a lot of blessings for you that the universe wants to share with you they want you to be able to receive all of these blessings and say yes to opportunities and new adventures and they want you to have the energy for it so now is a great time to really focus on your rest your health your self-care relaxing, meditating, maybe going to bed earlier, focusing on the dream space. Maybe keeping a dream journal would be really helpful. We have all of these books. We have all of these, um, you know, these books and book. there's a book here. So maybe focusing on if you enjoy journaling, that could be a great outlet for you to really know what you're thinking and what you're feeling if you keep a journal. And also, if you feel called or interested to keep a dream journal, that is something that can really help you track what's going on with your subconscious mind. And that can really tap you into deeper knowing from your soul and your subconscious and your unconscious mind and even deeper messages from spirit guides and ancestors. So definitely pay attention to your dreams. Pay attention to what you're thinking and feeling. Really focus on rest and rejuvenation right now. The ancestors have a lot of blessings and new opportunities coming for you in the near future and they want you to be ready for it and well rested for it. So focus on, yeah, this beautiful healing and restful time. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I just love doing these readings and I would love to hear if this resonated with you in the comments down below. Please like and subscribe if this reading did resonate with you and I sincerely hope to see you in one of my next readings. Thank you guys so much for joining me today.